What's up, baseball infielders? I'm Coach Dan Blewett. In today's video, we're gonna talk about sidearm throwing mechanics and the mechanics of throwing on the run and making all these tough plays that you see on TV. All right, so if you're new here, I'm Coach Dan. I'm a former pro baseball pitcher. In the description, you'll find my online courses, links to other videos, all that good stuff, my books. In today's video, let's talk about infield throwing mechanics, specifically how to throw sidearm and how to throw sidearm on the run. All right, so the first thing, let's talk about the arm action, and then I'm gonna go through the mechanics in a little bit of slow motion, and then I'm gonna give you a drill that I like at the end. So the first thing to understand is, most baseball players don't need too much instruction on how to throw a sidearm. If you already throw reasonably well over top and you have generally good mechanics, pretty much just trying it, just running around, mimicking your favorite players, throwing different angles, and really just experimenting with it is probably gonna be enough to get you where, where you wanna go. But if you need to be, if you're a coach, you need to coach kids, or if you're a parent, you wanna coach your son, or if you're a player and you just wanna like learn all the mechanics of it, then obviously we're gonna go through it. So here's the big thing, it's not that complicated. When you're on the run, the first thing to know is that you're gonna make this throw off your right foot. So the reason that you're gonna throw off your right foot when you're on the run is because your hips will open that way. If you're running, if I'm running towards home plate and I, and I plant with my left and I try to throw up there to first base, my hip is not gonna open. It's gonna be stuck closed. And that's gonna be really, really tough to get a strong throw off of. So your body, again, this is not something you need to think too much about. You will figure it out, your body will figure it out. But just so you know, these are always right foot throws and that allows your hips to open up normally, just like when you hit, your hips open up. When you throw overhand, your hips open up. So you've gotta be on the right foot so your hips open up when that's the only foot that's down. So that's a critical first point to understand. The next thing that's important is, you're gonna get a lot of your velocity from this angle in your elbow being tighter than nine degrees. If you watch baseball pitchers, they're typically 90 degrees or a little bit less, but they're typically not in here like this. When you see infielders make throws, they're gonna be a lot tighter in this joint angle because they're getting more from their arm than they are from their lower half, especially when they're throwing on the run. So you don't have to think too much about where the angle is gonna be. This is how you get that angle. Once you field it, whether you're scooping it and you're just taking it from your glove and pulling it here, or you're fielding it as an infielder and you're bringing it to your center and then going to throw sidearm, either way, when you pull it back, you're pulling it just like a lawnmower cord. And you're taking the ball to your right pec if you're a righty, left pec if you're a lefty. You're gonna pull it to your pec, and by doing that, it's gonna pull your shoulder blade back, which is the other really critical thing here. You don't wanna have your arm up here, then you're just gonna push it like a dart. You wanna pull your shoulder blade back like a bow and arrow, like your Superman, you know, ripping open your street clothes to reveal your cape underneath. But again, the, the big, really good analogy is like a bow and arrow pulling the bow all the way back. Now I'm here, and if you look, I've got that tight joint angle. So if you pull the ball to your pec, you're gonna be in good shape, you don't have to think about it. And again, we do need to get our shoulder blades all the way back, because that's what's gonna get our shoulder sort of connected to our hips and our core. You're gonna get more velocity from that angle and your shoulder blades being back. Those are the big three things, right foot, pull it to your pec, shoulder blade back. Now with your glove arm, What's gonna happen is your glove and your hips are gonna kinda of go together. They're gonna to open up before the arm opens up. And I will, again, I will demonstrate these in just a second. But as you start to make your throw, you'll see this glove arm start to swim its way over as your hip sort of opens up like a fire hydrant and that gets your hips clear and then your arm rockets through. So that's the last important piece to understand. That's what your glove side will do when you're making this throw it's gonna get on all the way to the other side of your body to let your hips open up, and then all that power is gonna transfer through to your arm. All right, so now I'm gonna do a couple slow motion examples so you can see how it looks.
So the last thing to remember here is this is something that you're gonna learn by doing. So when you're playing catch, you should work on these throws. Run right, run left, throw from different arm angles, throw from dead side arm, really, really low side arm, pick it up and barehand it, throw from the ground. Add these things as part of your routine. Don't just do standard overhand throwing drills and the same boring throwing drills over and over. Allocate some amount of time in your infield throwing routine as an infielder to working on your footwork. Do all the different stuff you do in the game. Throw left, throw right, feed your shortstop from second base. Use that end time, that garbage time, to do the stuff that you would do in the game. That's how you're gonna get better at it. Now, if you do want to drill, this is one that I really like that I would teach uh, kids with, is I would just take the ball, I'd start sideways. So if this is my target here, I'd start sideways, I'd tap, pull, and I'd throw. Really, really simple, I just call it the tap and pull low throw, I don't know, who cares? But again, tap, pull, and let it loose. And that's really, really simple, it's really, really easy to do. But again, I don't think this is something that you need lots of drills on, I just think you need to go do it, play catch, literally mimic your favorite major league shortstop, second baseman, Nolan Arenado's a stud, mimic these guys, go out there and just have fun, throw on the run, move left, move right, do it all, and you'll get vastly better at throwing sidearm, all right? So if you're an infielder, I hope this video was helpful. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, share with a friend and coaches. If you have any questions, and players obviously too, leave it below. Love to chat with you. I reply to almost every comment that you leave. Thanks again for watching. I'm Coach Dan, and I'll see you here on the next video.